race 22. A win for 15, Martin Sturgeon. Second place, number 14, Rodney McDonald. Third place, 151, Rob Mia. And fourth place, 47, Jason Hilliard. Fifth place, number 7, Gareth Hickmott. Sixth place, number 5, um, Matt Etherington. Seventh place, 88, Ben Gilbert. And eighth place, number 51, Kevin Beer. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 11.02 seconds. A speed of 51.85 miles per hour. 250cc solos. Race 23. Away we go, four of them in this time, but Ashley uh, Miller conking out just off the start line there. But the other three are in quite close attendance with uh, James Peters, the previous winner on the two other bands. Now it's on the bus. 57 Ricky Bay from Josh Milner in third. Two stroke fights back in second place at the moment. Josh Miller goes through on the inside. It's four strokes first and second, two stroke third. Forty-five and James Peters on the top. Josh Milner on the uh, Honda. Ricky Pay on the two stroke. Not quite sure which uh, which two stroke. Last that way, James Peters from Josh Milner, from Ricky Pye, on a Suzuki apparently. Japanese quality. Got a bumblebee here, I want to get rid of, so we go quiet for a minute. Don't panic, Captain Mannery. Oh, come on, you little bugger, you never get out over there. I'll wind you up, you sting me, won't I? Race 23, the 250cc solo is a win for 45, James Peters. Second place, number 10, Josh Milner. And in third place, number 57, Ricky Pye. No other finishes. The winner's time is 1 minute 24.80 seconds, a speed of 43.42 miles per hour. From the top, 45, 10, and 57. 1 minute 24.80 seconds, 43.42 miles per hour. Cadets race next, there's no auto cadets running today, there was one I think, but the, uh, the non-starter. So, from the previous uh, two legs, I believe Joshua Rockley finished his first race in twice. And away they go, Kenny Bell's got the best of the start from the outside, but uh, George Ramsey is soon through and Joshua Rockley is just powering into first place as I speak. And uh, round they come. Well, Chris Watts looking a little bit shaken and stirred, but I think he's all right. You all right, isn't it? He's all right. He's smiling, look. Jake's moving from the meeting and he's smiling. I first believe it. Round they go, then. The juniors, the oil helmet and boot brigade. Joshua Rockley leads it. Bob George Ramsley in second. Then we have 33, Kenny Bowdry, and number 11, Connor Lock. Leg 1, 2 and 3, all going the same way at the moment. The chequered flag is ready, Joshua Rockley powers off that last turn. Takes the chequered flag. And George Ramsey in second. Kenny Bowdry in third. Connor Lock in fourth. A race 25, juniors and intermediates. Let's see what happens this time. on the start there if someone throws it away. What Danny Glove was it? No, no, Lawrence Barber, I think. Lawrence Barber. Here they come then, round the turn. Danny Glover is leaving. Danny Glover's away. Number four. Five 
title bonus is in second place and challenging hard. Round the turn they come, Michael Bovis getting all wound up on the outside. He's uh, determined to try and take the win here. Yes. Hang on to it. Danny Glover leads. Michael Bovis in second. Matt Storm in third. Shane Bovis in fourth. And the uh, last lap play goes to Danny Glover. Michael Bovis now moves to second. This lap or not at all. I think it's going to be not at all. Danny Glover didn't seem to slow into that corner, but he's very fast out of it. And there goes the checkered flag. Number 18, Danny Glover from Michael Bovis. 181, Rath Saul in third. Followed by Shane Bovis, Brendan Warville, Danny Boyle. Lawrence Barber is a lap in arrears. race distance. In first place is 18, Danny Glover. Second place was 4, Michael Bovis. Third was 181, Matt Saul. Fourth was 14, Shane Bovis. Fifth was number 50, Brendan Warville. Sixth was 95, Danny Boyle. Seventh was number 7, Billy Milton. And eighth was number 17, Lawrence Barber. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 18.87 seconds. A speed of 46.69 miles per hour. From the top, 18, 4, 181, 14, 50, 95, 7, 17, 1 minute 18.87 seconds, 46.69 miles per hour. Upright time. Um, after two legs, we have 14, Richard Barnett, and 174, Robin Pilcher, both on 26 points each. So this will be interesting. Next is Arnold Fenner, number 32, on 22 points, and Aaron Vian on 21 points. And away we go. Bit of a wheelie for Arnold Fenner as he left the line there, but uh, tucks in nicely in fourth place into the turn. Meanwhile, Richard Bartlett leads it, Aaron Vial in second place. And Robin Pilcher was down in fourth, he's made it up into third, and he's creeped up into second place on the exit of that corner. And he goes into the lead on the exit of that one. Robin Pilcher leads it, Richard Barber in second. Aaron Vale in third, Arnold Fenner in fourth. Aaron Vale tries to go right around the outside of the two in front of him. Looks like he almost made it, but Robin Pilcher's hanging on in there. Aaron Vale's gone up into second, Richard Barber's in third. Then 32, Arnold Fenner. There's Sam Joyce, Mike Webster and Adrian Harden. No Barry Joyce in this one, I notice. Mike Webster having a ding-dong battle at the back there. Last lap flags out for Robin Pilcher. Aaron Bayer in second, Richard Barber in third, Arnold Fenner in fourth. There's Sam Joyce, Mike Webster and Adrian Harden. Richard Bartlett's got the second place back as he goes into that turn. Aaron Vale comes in much faster and goes around the outside. Richard Bartlett's got the inside line. It's going to be tight, I think, on the finish. But one step more, Robin Bilger wins. We'll see if he's watching with Elvis Vale. Well, it's going to go through them ropes or not. And uh, didn't really get in the second and the third. But uh, maybe the intrepid lap scorer is sitting next to me. I've got it all taped, so nothing to worry about. Upright solos. Upright solos. Races 26 and 27 combined. A win for 174, Robin Pilcher. Second place, 2, 152, Aaron Elvis Vale. In third place, number 14, Richard Bartlett. Fourth place, number 42. Didn't have a 42, did we? Must be 32. 32, Arnold Fenner. Fourth, 32, Arnold Fenner. Fifth, 157, Barry Joyce. Uh, 157, sorry, Sam Joyce. Sixth was 161, Mike Webster. And seventh was number two, Adrian Harden. The winner's time was 1 minute 18.82 seconds, a speed of 46.72 miles per hour. From the top, 174, 152, 14, 32, 157, 161, and 2. 1 minute 18.82 seconds, 46.72 
miles per hour. Well, it looks like uh, Robin Pilcher's got one hand on the trophy this afternoon. See if he can get the other one on in leg four. Should have a final, should have a final. So, uh, one hand might not be on the trophy yet then. Here it comes, the left hand is 22 years, and Bob Michael Shaw leads, Tom Danny Holman and uh, Martin Cuff in second place. Oh, look at the sandwich, look at them all going round there. Uh, Mike uh, Downs and Mick Harling have made it up into second place. Danny Holman says you're not having it. Mike uh, Downs says yes I am, and Billy Penfold said look at the lot of you, here I come. So it's uh, interesting stuff out of that corner. 22, Will Benbold and Nigel Shaw. I don't know what's going on behind them, and I don't suppose they care much either. Danny Holman seems to be the one who's dipped out. He's gone down to fourth place. Billy Benbold moves up to third. And, uh, Mike Downs and Mick Harling there in, in second at the moment. So Billy Penfold is moving in fast. Although he's gone very wide and seems to cause himself a problem on that corner. Danny Holman dips through on the inside. So 22, Will Benbold and Nigel Shaw. Mike Downs and uh, Mick Harley pushing away there in second place. Right up on the back wheel of Will Penfold, the wheel's pulled clear on the straight. Then the turn again then and the checkered flag comes out this time. Will Penfold leading it. Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw take the lead from 113. Mike Downs and Mick Harley from number 12, Danny Holman and Martin Cuff from 123, Billy Penfold. And uh, Adrian North. Race 28, left hand sidecars. Race 28, left hand sidecars was a win for number 22. Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw in second place was 113. Mike Downs and Mick Arling. In third place it was number 12, Danny Holman and Martin Cuff. And in fourth place it was 123, Billy Penfold and Adrian North. The winner's time was 1 minute 26.81 seconds. A speed of 42.42 miles per hour. From the top, 22, 113, 12, 123. 1 minute 26.81 seconds, 42.42 miles per hour. That's Steve Dowling out in front, going for it. Andy Pack in second place, Chris Downs in third, Keith Dixon in fourth. 34, Steve Dowling. And Neil Smith. Very fast on the V-twin. Andy Pack and Matt Adams in second place. On a Yamaha. Chris Downs, Damien Jarvis on a Yamaha. Keith Dixon and Trent Penfold on another Yamaha. But it's the old British V twin. The out in front and going for it. On the last lap. 34. Steve Dowling and Neil Smith on the West Gold. Half Westlake, half Gordon by the sounds of things. Round they come then. Check a flag for Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. Second place to uh, 292, Andy Pack and Matt Adams. Then it's 114, Chris Downs, Damien Jarvis. Bring it up the rear, Keith Dixon and Trent Benfold. Race 29, left hand side cars, a win to 34, Stephen Downer and Neil Smith. In second place to 292, Andy Pack and Matt Adams. Third place to number 114, Chris Downs and Damien Jarvis. And fourth place to number 76, Keith Dixon and Trent Penfold. Now other finishes, the winner's time is 1 minute 24.59 seconds, a speed of 43.53 miles per hour.
from the top, 34, 292, 114, 76, 1 minute 24.59 seconds, 43.53 miles per hour. Race 30, race 30, right hand side cars. Will Offen's got Andy Wood in the chair, otherwise it's as per the programme. Right-handers, top of the tree, 101. Gavin Doolin. And I think it's Dave Midler on uh, 11 points. Lee Ray and uh, Pete Colvin on 10 each. Peter Lloyd and Will Offen, and then John Stafford. So it's the guard for two next, and this is indeed the third. Interval after this race. Right-handers then on the line, revs are rising. Understarters orders, and away we go. Lee Ray going to the centre green. Thank you, Gavin Noonan, would you? I'd say Sean and Jay will have a red up for that, wouldn't you? Unsatisfactory start, all back in's my guess. was number six, Lee Ray and Jamie Parnell. Fourth place was number 81, John Stafford and Fraser Sutherland. Fifth place was number four, Peter Lloyd and Nick Wilson. And sixth place was 101, Gavin Noonan and Dave Vidler. The winner's time was 1 minute 28.20 seconds, a speed of 41.75 miles per hour. From the top, 80, 99, 6, 81, 4, 101. 1 minute 28.20 seconds, 41.75 miles per hour. The European final, the biggest thing in grass track calendar internationally and that will be the Astra Clubs meeting at Swingfield for the European title this year featuring many, 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 many fine riders. We won't let them win on English soil though, will we? Here we go, we're away with the 350cc solos, race 31. Chris Pay gets the whole shot up that back straight. Mike Peters is in second place, Richard Reed is in third. Chris Payne leads and Mike Peters is right there with him and it's 
on the other side of the early tight line there, comes up alongside the pair of them, takes Mike Peters and lines up to go past Chris Pay. Chris Pay puts the throttle on, rides a little wider in the track, but uh, Richard Reed on that very tight line, it looks like he's going to come through there in a minute to me. It's 59 Chris Pay that moves. Richard Reed goes to the inside again, gets the throttle on early out of that turn and pulls away from Chris Pay. It is uh, Richard Reed that leads. Chris Pay in second place, Mike Peters in third, Richard Bartlett in fourth, Craig Wallace in fifth, and Bradley Newman in sixth. The last lap bag. For Richard Reed. From Chris Payne, Mike Peters, Richard Bartlett, Craig Wallace, and Bradley Newman. Goes for Richard Reed. Chris Bay in second. Michael Peters in third. Richard Barber in fourth. Craig Wallace in fifth. Three fifty CC Salos, race thirty one, a win there for number fifty six. Richard Reed. Second place was number fifty nine. Chris Pay. Third place was number 37, Mike Peters. Fourth place was number 14, Richard Bartlett. Fifth place was number 5, Craig Wallace. And sixth place, 101, Bradley Newlin. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 14.41 seconds. An average speed of 49.49 miles per hour. From the top, 56, 59, 37, 14, 5, 101. 1 minute 14.41 seconds, 49.49. Miles per hour, here come the 500cc solos. Martin Sturgeon's won three of the, uh, for all three I should say, I suppose, of the uh, previous legs. And uh, looks like he stands a good chance of making it a clean sweep in this one. Welcome back to Gareth Hickmott, nice to see him out there. He's been constantly sort of uh, fifth, I think, all afternoon. Rams Ryan takes fly and somebody's got off the back. Somebody's got a right off the back on the start there. And Jay Sayer's got the red flag up. Red flag Bert. Don't think many of them saw that. Oh, they did stop eventually. I think that was Ben Gilbert that uh, Went off the back there. All right, the rerun then with out number 88. The flowers waving there. there. I don't know what's going on, but the, the start is away. They're off the first straight, and they're going for it. Martin Sturgeon in the thick of it. Rodney McDonald from the Martin Sturgeon in second place. Sure, if he gets stays there, he'll win this overall, but uh, he is a racer. I don't suppose you'll want to finish second to anybody. But Rodney McDonald's got the bit between his teeth. The Aussie from headquarters leads this one. 15. Martin Sturgeon from 151. Rob Beer. 47. Jason Hilliard. 7. Garrett Hickmott. 5. Matt Etherington. 51. Kevin Beer. Round they come then, 14, Rodney McDonald, one lap to go, Martin Sturgeon, so he's happy to let him have it. Rodney McDonald out of that turn and down the straight. Into the last turn for the last time. This will be it for the 500cc solos this afternoon, and Rodney McDonald takes the win. Martin Sturgeon in second place. From 151, Rob Beer, from 47, Jason Hilliard, 7, Garrett Hickbock, 5, Matt Etherington. We'll see him again this afternoon. You'll have to come to the grass track next week to see him again. The Robbie McDonald, a lovely win for him there. 47 Jason Hilliard. Consistently rode well all afternoon. As did Rob Meir and Gareth Hickmoff. But the man who I took to be the winner of the event didn't come round. There you go. Well done, Rob Meir. Well done, Gareth Hickmoff. Lovely to see him back after his accident. And uh, I'm sure we'll move on to bigger and better things as the season progresses. Race 32, a win for number 14.
Rodney McDonald, second place, 15, Martin Sturgeon, third place, 151, Rob Mia, in fourth place, 47, Jason Hilliard, in fifth place, number seven, Gareth Hickmott, in sixth place, number five, Matt Etherington, in seventh place, number 51, Kevin Beer. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 09.52 seconds, an average speed of 52.97 miles per hour. From the top, 14, 15, 151, 47, 7, 5 and 51. 1 minute 09.52 seconds, 52.97 miles per hour. Number 8, Jason Hilliard, in 8th place, 45, James Peters on the 250 Gordon. Not that never made one, but they've converted a 350 down to a 250 and it goes well. Ashley Manor's back out, that's good to see. 45, James Peters. The 250 Gordon singing. Josh Milder on the Honda in second. Then Ricky Pay on the Suzuki. And Ashley Miller on a Yamaha. Made by a piano company. The last match play goes for number 45, James Peters. Number 10, Josh Milner. 57. <coughs> That's Ricky Pay and 58, Ashley Mellor. Shackett flag comes out. If my arithmetic's right and not make it, that uh, James Peters has won all four of his legs this afternoon and goes home the Scorcher champion from Josh Miller in second place. Ricky Pay in third place. Ashley Mellor coming home in fourth. Race 33, the 250cc solos, fourth leg. Show some appreciation as it come round. That little four strokes are starting to rule the roost again. Two strokes have been there long enough. Since the days of the BSA in the 60s, the two strokes seem to take over. But the four strokes are back. Don't forget the British title last year was won on a four stroke. Race 33, then a win for 45, James Peters. Second, number 10, Josh Milner. Third, number 57, Ricky Pay. And fourth, number 58, Ashley Miller. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 22.89 seconds, 44.42 miles per hour. And from the top, 45, 10, 57, 58. 1 minute 22.89 seconds, 44.42 miles per hour. gets the start. Joshua Rockley overtakes him on the first straight, so it's Joshua Rockley and through goes Kenny Bowdry. And past goes George Ramsley. So Joshua Rockley in front. Surely won the first three. He's out in front for the fourth one. Kenny Bowdry's a place up, but he has been so far this afternoon. See if he can hold on to it. No, he can't. George Ramsley's gone by as they go out of that turn. But Kenny's not finished yet. He's coming back at him on that corner. Look, they look like, 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 um, like um, oh, what's they called? A synchronised swimmers, isn't they? They're like synchronised swimmers there, side by side, going round. 110. Joshua Rockley from 3, George Ramsley from 33, Kenny Bowdry from 11, Connor Locke. Round to come again, then. Second flag goes, 110, Joshua Rockley from 3, George Ramsey, 33, Kenny Bowdry, and number 11, Connor Locke. There's Kenny Bowdry, I think he's finished third overall. There's George Ramsey, I believe he's finished second overall. Waving to the crowd, his fans. Race 34, then a win for 110, Joshua Rockley. 
second place was number three, George Ramsley. Third place was 33, Kenny Bowtree. And fourth place, number 11, Connor Locke. The winner's time was 1 minute 05.62 seconds, a speed of 41.14 miles per hour. So is Danny Glover. No one in Greenwood, I'm afraid he's uh, gone home with a bruised shoulder. So the battle will probably be between numbers 18 and 4 here this afternoon. You must have your clue to your seats because I can't see anybody at the ice cream van and I can't see anybody at the, oh, it's got the bar. The riveting stuff here in the front and scorcher. And the sun is starting to scorch. Dry as tapes ride, here we go. Terrific start, look like Brendan Warville from the start. Shane Bovis in second place, Mike Bovis in third place. Danny Glover in fourth, that changes a little bit as they come round that turn and uh, Michael Bovis comes out in front. Oh, it's Danny Moore anyway, I'm not uh, sorry about that, that was Danny Moore who was going to lay in the line. It's not Brendan Moorville. So, Michael Bovis is away, Danny Glover is up into second place. Number four. Michael Bovis. From 18, Danny Glover. Last that flag for Paul Michael Bovis from Danny Glover in second. Probably going to be Danny Glover's meeting though because of the uh, spirit of Michael Bovis earlier on. Danny Boyle was holding on to a good third there. And the checkered flag goes for Michael Bovis from Danny Glover. From Danny Ball, Shane Bovis, Lawrence Barber, Matt Saul, Brendan Warville. And Billy Mill. Show some appreciation for these magnificent men on their flying machines. Michael Bovis. There for him, Danny Glover. I'm fairly sure that uh, he'll be the winner of the meeting overall. Then Shane Bovis, Danny Boyle, uh, Lawrence Barber. Race 35, juniors and intermediates. A win there for number four, Michael Bovis. Second place to number 18, Danny Glover. Third place to 95, Danny Boyle. Fourth place to 14. Shane Bovis, 5th place to 17, Lawrence Barber, 6th place to 181, Matt Saul, 7th place to number 50, Brendan Warville, and 8th place, number 7, Billy Milton. The winner's time is 1 minute 17.52 seconds, a speed of 47.5 miles per hour. Cars for the last time this afternoon. Race 36. Those guys take fly, and here they come. Pete Holden gets the whole shot this time. Peter Lloyd in 
second blows through right in third place. That's how they come out of the first turn. Will Offen is flying in there and uh, going for it in fourth place. Pete then Steve Colvin have got the bit between the teeth this time and this turn the power on into that corner. Turn up the straight. They go on the inside and Will Offen goes past a pair of them. Lee Ray Powers back round the outside and it's all happening here at the Fritton and Scorcher. Somebody stopped on the far side there. Will Offen, I think. 99, Pete Steve Colvin. Two more laps to go. Lee Ray in second place. Peter Lloyd is third and slowing, then uh, John Stafford, Gavin Newlin, and they get past uh, the slowing Peter Lloyd. Where we come then, 99. Pete and Steve Colvin with one lap to go. Well clear of number six, Lee Ray and Shane Parnell. John Stafford and Fraser Sullivan, Gavin Newlin and Dave Hitler, and uh, Peter Lloyd, Nick Wilson, bringing up the rear. Well, the last turn for the last time. Well done, Pete and Steve Colvin. Quite happy with their win, I should say, by that gesture. Two right here, John Stafford in third, Gavin Newton in fourth, Peter Lloyd in fifth. No, no point in Will Offen pushing round. No point in him pushing round. He ain't done enough laps. He's making hard work for nothing. Well, I'm trying to tell you. Well, I thought somebody would stop him, but nobody's going to stop him. They're going to let him do it for nothing. Two so appreciation to game in with them right-handers. Right hand side car result, race 36 was a win for number 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. Second place was number 6, Lee Ray and Jamie Parnell. Third place was number 81, John Stafford and Fraser Sutherland. Fourth place was number 101, Gabby Noonan and Dave Fiddler. And in fifth place was number 4, Peter Lloyd and Nick Wilson. No six finisher, the winner's time is 1 minute 23.07 seconds, a speed of 44.33 miles per hour. Um, number 80, Will Offin and... Uh, and he would, unfortunately, didn't do enough laps to qualify, even though they tried to push home. So, race 36 was 99, 6, 81, 101 and 4. 1 minute 23.07 seconds, 44.33 miles per hour. This is the upright uh, fourth leg. I should read 174, 14, 57, 157, 152, 32, 2 and 161. Not in any particular order. That's just a list of the runners for this race. Second race, second last race of the afternoon. Is that the penultimate race? Away they go. Good start for Richard Bartlett. Richard Bartlett is away. Aaron Vale is there on the outside and uh, Robin Pilcher trying to come through on the inside. Robin Pilcher makes it up. Clean to first place. Richard Bartlett went very wide and threw it all away. In the hunt though, and he's in second place with Robin Pilcher showing his superiority in this race and pulling away from the rest of the field. Robin Pilcher leads. Robin Pilcher going for it. Bob Richard Barbie, Aaron Vale, Arnie Fenner, Sam Joyce, Adrian Harden, and Mike Webster. Aaron Vial going in the outside, Richard Bartlett moves up into second place. Richard Bartlett coming hard round on that title line, he's unable to do it. Last lap flag for Robin Pilcher, Aaron Vial in second, Richard Bartlett in third, then Arnold Fenner, then Sam Joyce. Mike Webster, no, he's in hard. Second flag goes out. 174, Robin Pilcher takes the win. Aaron Vial in second, Richard Barber in third, Arnold Fenner in fourth, and a battle here. Just going to Sam Joyce from Mike Webster, and then Adrian Harden. Let them know that you're here, appreciating what they've been doing, entertaining us well this afternoon.
Race 37, the fourth leg. Race 37, the fourth leg of the uprights. And a win there for 174, Robin Pilcher. Second place to 152, Aaron Vale. Third place to number 14, Richard Bartlett. Fourth place to number 32, Arnold Finner. Fifth place to 157, Sam Joyce. Sixth place to 161, Mike Webster. And seventh place to number two, Adrian Harden. None of the finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 17.23 seconds, a speed of 47.68 miles per hour. From the top, 174, 152, 14, 32, 157, 161 and 2, 1 minute 17.23 seconds, 47.68 miles per hour. Top man on points, 30, 34, Steve Dowling with Neil Smith. Followed by 22, Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw. 123, Billy Penfold and Adrian North. Number 12, Danny Holman and Martin Cuff. 292, Andy Pack and Matt Adams. And 113, Mike Downs and Mick Arling. Reserve if required is 114, Mike Downs and Damien Jarvis. It looks like they're all there and all able to take their place. Don't forget the charity bash on the 5th of August, that's next Sunday night, 6.30 onwards. Stars in their eyes of the craft track people entering into the competition at the Hawkenberry, previously known as the Hare and Hounds, and the If Only. If only I hadn't done that. Only that shade hadn't smashed. Only I didn't pick up that puncture. Here we go. These are the left-hand side cars. Six go into battle, and Will Penfold gets the whole shot. Will Penfold gets to the first turn first. Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw leading then. Steve Dowling. Surely the man to beat in this class is right there in second place, breathing down his neck. Where we go then? The Honda Fireblade leads. The Wiz God is in second place and it looks like it's going through. It's all uh, systems go well, it's just got one wheel in for Flat Machine in front. He holds on to a slender advantage, but now Steve Dowling comes again. Steve Dowling powers through on the inside. Will cuts back on the inside of him and there's another go coming out of that corner. Not quite there though. It is Steve Dowling. It is Will Penfold. Mike Downs, Billy Penfold, Danny Holman, and Andy Pack, and Andy Pack seems to be all over the place. Still Dowling leads. Will Penfold holding a really tight line out of that turn. He means business, he needs to take him back, you know, two more laps to go. Still Dowling and Lewis Smith, Will Penfold, and uh, Nigel Shaw. So Mike Downs and McCarling. Will, Will. Will Penfold and Will Penfold. Steve Dowling seems to have pulled away a little bit uh, from uh, Will Penfold, but Will's still in there and trying. Of course, this is a six matter, isn't it? Oh, I forgot about that. No, there's time yet. Will Steve Dowling tire a little? Can the younger man of Will Penfold hold the stamina longer? We shall see as the last lap play comes out. It is Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. From Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw, from 113. Mike Nails and McArling from Philip Penfold. And I see North from Danny Holman, Martin Cuff. 292, Andy Pack and Matt Adams. Well, it looks like it's going to stay that way as they come out of the last turn. The West God is leading and the checkered flag goes. It is 34, Steve Dowling the winner. 22, Will Penfold in second. Mike Downs in third. Then Billy Penfold, Danny Holman, Andy Pack. Left hand side car then, over six laps it was, and we have a result. Show your appreciation of these young lads, and uh, there goes young Will, a bright future in front of him. There goes Billy Penfold. Been there, done that. 
Danny Holmwood and Martin Cuff looking very happy. Matt Adams and Andy Pack. Right, here we go then. The six lap left hand side car final. The last race of the afternoon was a win for number 34. Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. In second place was number 22. Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw. In third place it was 113. Mike Downs and Mick Arling. In fourth place was number 123, Billy Penfold. And Adrian North. Fifth place, number 12, Danny Holman and Martin Cuff. And in sixth place, number 292, Andy Pack and Matt Adams. The winner's time was two minutes, 06 seconds precisely. Two minutes, 06 seconds precisely, giving a speed of 44.79 miles per hour. It was